today is our last day in Mobile for this assignment for this week which is uh, I'm actually pretty ecstatic about we have been gone for almost two weeks now we've been on the road for 12 days between going to Panama City and then coming here I'm ecstatic. I can't wait to get home to my puppy dog. I can't wait to get home to see Bella. Right now, we are packing and loading up the car. We're gonna do a once over, and then we're getting on the road, headed home to Montgomery. I think that's it. We've done our once over. I'm going to take the room key back to the office. I can't wait to get home and see my puppy dog. I know she's going to be mad at me for leaving her for the last two weeks, but I had no choice. Neither that hotel nor this one allowed pets. So when we come back though, we're going to find a hotel that does allow pets, even if we have to pay a little bit more. That way Bella can come with us. We're on our way home. We're on our journey back home. We're about halfway home and we've made a pit stop here in Op, Alabama at my in-laws home. My daughter is actually going to stay here with my wife's mom for a few weeks. So we're dropping her off here. We'll be back on the road soon, headed home. Just can't get here fast enough, I, I guess. After our nearly 12 day trip, we have finally made it back home. Let's see if we can sneak up and surprise my puppy dog. I'm sure she's gonna be mad at me for being gone so long. Hello. Bella. Hello. It's you. <gasps> Baby. Baby. Oh, baby. Down here in Alabama, I don't know what it's like in the rest of the world, but grass grows so fast. It's ridiculous how fast it grows. So being gone for two weeks, grass was up to my knees. Look how high the grass is coming up on my legs, almost to my kneecaps. So uh, before I do anything else, I'm gonna cut the grass, at least what everybody else can see. I might cut the, the rest of it later this evening, but at least what you can see visibly driving by. Well, that's done now. The grass is cut. Now it looks pretty good out here. All right, I'm gonna go in and clean up and uh, get ready to get out to run errands. We're finally at home. It feels great. Been playing with Bella. We've had a chance to recover from our last almost two weeks away. But I have great news. In the mail was my check from the insurance company. So today, getting right, I'm gonna get back out here in just a little bit so I can take this by the bank and deposit it so that we can go get us a new drone and replace everything else that was stolen as quickly as possible. Tragedy after tragedy happens. The refrigerator in our house is burning up. We've been gone. I don't know how long it's been doing it, but uh, and all of a sudden now it's got a burnt smell coming from it, like burning wire. Anytime you open the refrigerator, you smell it. So we're gonna go to the bank with our insurance check. And then we are going to head to Lowe's. Amy and my mom, they're going through refrigerators here looking for a replacement. 
So I might have to finagle this to be able to show you, but um, we have a new refrigerator coming in the morning, or actually we have to go pick it up. And what it was, we were smelling a burnt wire smell. It was smelling like wires were burning. We didn't want the house to catch on fire. We figured out it was coming from the refrigerator because that's where the smell was coming from. So we shut it off and that's why we went to Lowe's earlier to find a new refrigerator. Well, we got one coming in the morning. So we took everything out of our refrigerator and I pulled it outside. I found out which wire was burning and where it was coming from. So I'm sorry, I'm using the light for my drill because I, I don't have a flashlight handy, but this is what caused all those all of our problems. You can see here at the end it's melted right where the wire connections go into the the switch. That's where it's melted at. Now I don't know what this piece does. This piece, there's another piece, uh, a wall that's set in front of it. You see here, it, it, that's set right here in front of this coil and that piece here connected right there and that just wraps around the coil and plugs in right there. So I don't know what the piece does. I don't know what it controlled, but that one little piece is what caused us to have to buy a new refrigerator. Fortunately, it didn't catch on fire in the middle of the night or anything. We started smelling it periodically last night, on and off. And then today it was real strong, so we shut the refrigerator off. And uh, that's when we went to Lowe's to buy a new one, but that's it. Whatever this piece is right here, just melted. I don't know what caused it. I don't know what it does or, or anything, but we got a new fridge coming anyways. Next morning. It's day two now of our adventure. We came in yesterday morning, went to the bank and cashed our check. Those funds are available today. Try to do it all at one time. Picking up the Mavic Pro and the new camera and uh, picking up the refrigerator for the house at the same time. Getting this refrigerator in, that was a chore. So we've got the fridge in. We have to get packed up and on the road to Mobile. We've got to get on the road fairly quickly. So I'm not gonna open the camera in the drone today. I'll do an unboxing of those tomorrow and I'll just continue using this camera today. We have officially made it to Mobile. I have already taken Amy to work. Like we're staying at a different hotel this time than what we stayed at last week when we were here. We were very not, we were not impressed with that hotel at all. In fact, we left angry with them. We have this pool here at our hotel we're staying at tonight. They have like a multicolor flashing light illuminating in the pool. That's pretty neat. That's gonna do it for this episode. You know, we went shopping, we got the new camera, which I will unbox tomorrow. And uh, before we leave to go back home, we'll have an episode dedicated to the camera. Uh, which I'm thinking I'm going to do a filming locations video from down here. So that'll be really cool. I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank all of you for your concerns throughout this whole ordeal. From the time, from the day that our car was broken into, up until now where... Our insurance has given us the money to replace everything. Unfortunately, it's not over yet. They still haven't caught the a-hole who did it. Um, but it it is a, a at least a a little bit of weight lifted off of our shoulders that we are able to purchase the items that we lost in the burglary. So um, thank you all for your thoughts and your prayers. Um, thank you to everyone who sent a donation to us. I didn't ask for any of it, but you guys stepped up big time and uh, came to our aid to help us. And you guys really did help. We're gonna move forward from this point on and hopefully we won't have to deal with it anymore. But 
once and if I find out someone was arrested for the for breaking into our car because they do have the video evidence I did get an email from the detective who said they did have video of the people using our debit card at Walmart they went through the self checkout and they just signed Amy's name so if I do get an update from them saying that somebody was arrested for it I will make you all aware of it but other than that uh, I'm not gonna broach the subject anymore um, we will continue to replace items over the next week or two so thank you all again i love you all and i'll see you again tomorrow